it's the first time you come to me about flexible hours. You can't talk to me about actual work. <laughs> <laughs> flexible hours. Let's talk to Tony. <laughs> you have a certain workload that you're expected to, to do, and it's a matter of you doing it. If it works better for you to work at night, great. If it works better in the day, awesome. If you wanna work weekends instead, you know, it feels like you're being treated like an adult. That's the major difference between this job and you know any other traditional style job. My son came two weeks early. My wife went into labor and so I sent out a team post and I said, I'm not coming in. You know, it looks like we're going to the hospital, you know, it looks like the baby's coming early. Instead of, you know, bosses being like, well, you have this project to do and that project to do, everyone's like, you know, giving props and everything like that. People were excited for me and supportive as opposed to being like, where is, you know, where is this or where is that, uh, which is a really cool feeling. It feels very much like a family. I get the same type of support I get from my blood relatives, you know. Saloni offered to organize people to cook food and bring it to the house. Scott offered to babysit. I had people writing, don't come back too early. Make sure you're enjoying your time off. It's encouraged here to have a life outside of this. And it spills into everything. We have summits, we have outings, you know, we have drink ups. We have all these things that get you outside of work, you know, um, to enjoy life. I used to work a lot uh, later hours. Since my son was born, I'm up earlier. I started coming to work at eight instead of coming in at 10 or 10.30. You know, I can come in, I can get a solid day in, I can go home, raise my kid for a couple hours and go back to work at night, you know what I mean? The, the schedule completely shifted and it's completely cool. Everything that I've learned from work and from my past experiences has always been, we set your hours, you know what I mean? You work when we tell you to work. Having the flexibility to work when you want, be creative when you want, do your job when you feel the best you can do it is probably the, one of the bigger perks. There are many times when I feel creative at two o'clock in the morning and that's, that's basically when I wanna sit down and start working or drawing or sit at the computer. So yeah, because we have that flexibility, you can, you can be working and just be hitting a brick wall and say, you know what, I need to go for a walk, go get something to eat, go home, and then just start it up at a different point. The tools that we use, including you know the website, only make it easier to work in this fashion and to, and to be flexible. If we had meetings that we had to be in all the time on the same time zone, it just wouldn't work. But I don't think that that way would be better anyway. I think that the way that we're doing it right now is the most efficient way to do it. I, I, I truly believe that. And I think that you get a better product out of it because creativity, like we were talking about, can happen at any point in time. A lot of people ask me, how does that work and why don't people cheat? How can you keep track of people? And I think it breaks down to people here love what they do and because they love what they do, they wanna do the best job. We are trusted here to do our jobs. We should feel comfortable because we were hired. They believe in us, you know, we all believe in each other. I've never worked at a place that ever was even close to something like this. One of the challenges of having the freedom, the flexibility is, um, turning it off. If you can always be working, you know, sometimes you're always working. And if you love what you do and you have the freedom to do it whenever you want, some people do it all the time. How do we mitigate the process of working too hard? We are encouraged here to take a break. We are encouraged to step away. And I think it does well to step away. Sometimes when you're going too much, you know, you get burnt out. You know, you need to unplug for a minute and hit the refresh button. If you let people write their schedules and, and work how they want to work, you know, and hire the people that do what they love to do, then I think it just bleeds into everything else and everyone always seems like they're in a good mood here. And I don't think it's fake. I think people are generally happy, you know. I know I could say I am.